Hey, Living Water Church, this is Pastor Ken. I just wanna thank you for joining me today. You know, I have just been just flooded with, with God's truth recently. I'm just so grateful to him because I, every morning I, I just spend time with the Lord and the Lord just ministers to me. And, and invariably, I, I just think about his word when I am studying it. Where it says, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And I just, I think that's such a true scripture because it's, it just, as you read the word, as I read the word, it just comes alive. You know, this morning in my quiet time, um, I was just feeling a heaviness and I feel like the enemy was, was just wanting to just put weight. And you understand what I'm saying, just a weight that comes upon us. And I feel like that weight was, was him just kind of pouring doubt and, and doubt in two areas specifically, doubt of, of really who God is, but I think more significantly, at least for me, that it was doubt of who I was, that I could actually receive what God wanted me to have. And, and his word, as, as we know this word, as, as we understand this word, this is truth, and this is something we can all take as ours. It's not for... Uh, just for the ones that wrote it, it's for us specifically. And so that weight was just heavy from the enemy. And, and, I, and I just really believe God was, was showing that to me because I believe that that's what the same thing that you're going through is a weight from the enemy that's wanting to cause you to doubt yourself or to doubt that God could actually come into your life and, and set you free from things. And so... Um, you know, I, I want to share a scripture that um, specifically has been ministering to me so much. It's in uh, 1 Peter 1, 3, and it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And boy, I was just feeding on that scripture, thinking about, you know, how blessed is our God? How blessed be the God and Father? We wanna, I wanna bless him because of how good he is. Because according to this scripture, he has great mercy for us. And this great mercy has caused us to be born again into a living hope, a living hope, not a dead hope, not a hope that passes by, but it's alive and it's, it's active and it continues. And this living hope is through the resurrection. We just celebrated Easter, but it's a resurrection hope. It's a hope that, that is alive again and it's through Jesus' death that that hope was birthed. And that's a hope that we can live with. And so I just, as I was pondering this scripture and thanking God for his great mercy and recognizing who he was, I just feel like the enemy just dissipated. That weight of the enemy as well dissipated. And and he just flooded my soul with just hope, with with life. And, you know, honestly, um, you know, it is a privilege for all of us to come into his presence. And when we come into his presence, we literally enter into heaven. We enter into him and, and heaven in such a way that when we begin to pray, God's glory descends upon us. And his, his fire begins to burn inside of us. And faith is activated. And, and life is restored. And, and darkness is is runs away because the light, where there is light, there is no darkness at all. And uh, here's another scripture that God gave to me just real recently. It's in 1 Samuel 2.1. It comes from um, a prayer that Hannah was praying. And Hannah prayed this just after um, she had conceived, after praying and praying and praying for a son she just cried out to God, and God birthed within her this son, but he birthed within her a faith, 
of crying out to God and, and looking to him when she was, was berated by the enemy and by, her, um, by the mistress, so to speak, of, of Elkanah, um, Penina, and, and she just acted in faith. And when she acted in faith, God moved, God birthed something in her, and this was her resulting prayer. The first part of it, verse one, says, and Hannah prayed and said, my heart exalts in the Lord, and my horn is exalted in the Lord. Let me just stop there, and I'll, I'll finish this last part in a second. But it says that Hannah, she said her heart exalts in God, and, and she exalted in who he was, because who he is is infinite. But then she's, as, as she did that, then she said her horn is exalted, horn literally means her strength. In other words, her strength was exalted. Her strength was, was magnified. Her strength was augmented because of her heart exalting in God and who God was. Then it goes on in this verse to say that my mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. I love the way she says that. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. You know, I want to encourage, encourage you today, encourage you to come to God with faith, to come to God knowing that he is light and in him is no darkness at all. And when you come to him and you rejoice in your salvation, you will exalt him your strength will be exalted. Your horn will be exalted. So you'll be able to stand against the enemy. And then you'll be able to speak. As the scripture says in 1 Samuel 2, 1, you'll, your mouth will be able to speak and deride your enemies. In other words, derail him. Take him off the course of his plan. And you'll be able to hear what God's plan is. And how do you do that? By just rejoicing in your salvation. Rejoicing what God's given you, rejoicing in Him and how good He is to us. So I encourage you today, church, be encouraged, living water, because God is with us even in this time, even in this time where we are being imprisoned, so to speak, from, our, um, from this virus, from the, um, the laws of, of the land, from our president, from our governor, and, and so on, there are controls upon us, but yet God is not controlled. God is not being restricted, and God is with you today, and would you rejoice in him today, because I know that as you do, you will exalt in him, you will be blessed with a living hope, and your mouth will deride your enemies. God bless you.